He does appreciate them. Uh, this is one I've had for a little while now. It's barrel aged, even more Jesus uh, 8, uh, bourbon barrel aged stout, uh, which is a collab, Simon's collab with Evil Twin. Uh, they have a big one, even more Jesus, they're a pure stout. And for what I can gather, they've taken, they've brought across that beer and, and Simon have aged it for them. It is, um, it's a stout loaded with licorice, muscovado sugar, aged in bourbon barrels, and hit with as much coffee as they could do. Looking at the ingredients list like I did earlier, it also has lactose in it, so it's a, it's a milk stout, technically. So, um, it's, it clocks in at a rather massive 12.4% as well, which is why I wanted to share it with someone. It's got a lovely wax top on it with a siren logo on. Um, I'm personally not away, actually. It might take me a couple of seconds to get this to cap off. Oh, even easier. There you go. A bit of force in your wax off. So, pour out and see what we have. Oh, it's like tart. There's actually literally no head on that at all. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> uh, if you can't see, because it is a little bit dark, even though the flash is on, it's pouring out literally um, as black as anything I've seen in my entire life, um, with, a, with a really, really dark coffee colour head on it as well. Um, it looks pretty good, it's got a bit of alcohol on it as well, so it's getting given out. That's nice. boozy as hell. That's bourbon. It's vanilla bourbon, isn't it? Um, a little bit of a hidden coffee, but it's super sweet vanilla. Very complex, it's got a bit of roast in the background as well. <laughs> Which face? <laughs> it's got a smell, it's got, it's got alcohol on those two, it kind of tickles the nose and smell it. Oh, it's a lot of vanilla, it smells like barrels, it smells like oak barrels. So. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I mean, the last one we had was, um, it was another real twin, wasn't it? It's was a little bee that bought it, Imperial Porter. This one's a stout and it's got like a thick as treacle body to it. Super scoopy as well. It's really good, yeah. yeah. Knife and fork job. It's a massive hit of booze, bitterness on the tongue, it's vanilla. There's that but it just it's got like all the oak flavor through and through. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's quite sweet, it's a little bit sticky. It's, sweet. Mm. it's a lot sweeter than that port, so the port was quite good. This one's a lot sweeter. Oh the aroma has got super nose in tea. Guys, the nose has got so much booze and vanilla on it. 12.7, but I can't necessarily feel that in the stomach or in the mouth. It's no. quite smooth. No. It's not aggressive like some of the, the bourbon stuff out there. No, I mean, let's go out of sugar, yeah, you can get the sweetness from yeah. that. The licorice, yeah, I could probably say it's got a bit of the licorice in back of it. It's just the bubble of the barrel is a lot to it. Yeah. This is Ian the Lemon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My boss would have worked here. Um, God, rain wise, that's that's a I think that's a nine. Uh, oh, 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 that's a nine. nine. I, I'm going nine. nine. I don't want to push it down to the half because I don't know. There's something about it that's just not. It's perhaps a bit too sweet for a nine and a half, but it's, it's amazing. Coats the glass brilliant. It's the best of everything, isn't it? He's yeah, not too yeah. much of anything. I think it's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. Is even more Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Because I think when you try it, you go Jesus. Jesus. It's a Jesus eight times every time. Hey Jesus, that's beautiful. Jesus. <laughs> Even more Jesus say. Yeah. So, um, from check to my book, I don't know. Show your research. Watch him, please. Like, comment, subscribe.